Imagine, if you will, you and your family are simple farmers in a rustic village during the medieval era. Medievalish era. For all of your life, you work the land with your family. From dawn until dusk, this has been your life. This has been your life. And when dusk settles, you quickly run to your house. You prepare for supper and wait. Then, then at night, you begin to hear them. Softly at first, walking outside your family house. But then they test your family's ward. You can hear the impact as they throw themselves at your family's wards to try to break them down. But luckily, the wards of your house repel them. These creatures are the demons that haunt the night. Appearing at night, or sometimes even as the sun sets, and then plague the earth until the sun rises again. Immune to nearly all types of weapons, these creatures have stalked since as long as anyone can remember. This is the world of demons and magic, a world where humanity hides behind their wards and are terrified of the night. This is the world of the demon cycle. The demon cycle is a five book series, starting with the warded or painted man, depending on where you live, and ending recently with the core. The series has three main protagonists, Arlen Bales, Lisa Paper, and Roger N. But it gains a few more POVs as the story goes on. The book series is very grimdark and at first has very little magic, but then towards the end of the series it becomes less grimdark and more epic fantasy. But before I get into my more subjective opinion of the series, I want to add a few more notes. The series has a bunch of sexual things, events related to it. Some of it just sexual jokes, some of it is consensual sex, and then in some cases there is rape. If this is if this makes you squeamish, I would recommend not not reading the series because there's a bunch of it in this one book series. Now there is a somewhat consensus online that the first book is the best, while the series while the sequels are less good. On both Reddit and 4chan, I've got the response of it being less good as the series goes on. So take that as you may. Now here's my subjective opinion on the whole series. When I think about the series and what I would give it, I think it's about average. But when I think about why I enjoyed it, the answers really are hard to think about. I don't really remember it that well. I would have to go back and read it to give it an overall rating. But I would say definitely read the first book because I do remember some of that, m most of it in fact, and I enjoyed it even if it is grimdark and I'm sort of not liking it at all, grimdark at all. But I would say Read the first book and try the second book. If you can't get into the second book, just pretend like it ended on the first book and then everything is good. Uh, so that's kind of my opinion. Read the first book. Try the second one. And if you're, that catches your interest, you should probably, you can read the rest of the series. But thinking on the series as a whole, there's not much I really enjoyed throughout it, except for book one, parts of three, and some of book five. So that's really it. Book one's great, book three is good, book four is terrible, book two is alright, book five 
kind of good. So, not really selling this book well, but, um, yeah. Thank you for watching this. Have a good day. I hope you do well in whatever you try to do. And goodbye.